So guys, please uh, uh, watch another video, the third part of the injector maintenance. So guys, quick demo. You can use anything you want, simply a can. This is oil catch can with filling hole, two ports. Uh, one is for pressure, one is for the fluid to go out. Uh, tire compressor, very, very simple one, it runs on 12 volts, so you need to supply 12 volts. Pressure goes here, builds up here, you're filling your fluid. Uh, pressurized fluid goes to the, uh, the old uh, fuel line from M52 to you, which you saw on uh, different videos, and six injectors. So, first thing what I'm gonna show you is what's the pattern, what's the spray pattern on on these injectors if they leaking after what means leaking if we build up pressure in here I'm not gonna open them by supplying 12 volts I will just check if they leaking or not if they leaking or one is leaking that means it needs to be replaced because this injector will not hold pressure anymore because of wear. If they not leaking, we're gonna check the pattern and later move on. But before you start doing anything, please remove uh, fuel f yeah, well fuel fil filters, injector filters. This is a brand new one. Uh, if you saw part one, it's quite easy to remove. So remove the filters. Uh, should have uh, new o-rings when you finish cleaning so I will set the pressure pressure about the same as the fuel rail about three and a half to four bars if more no problem so I will fill that with water first and see how it uh, how it looks like okay so I built up the pressure and we got injector number one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the spring pattern. They look as they working good. Uh, that's the one of the test you can do. This is not very like scientific test. This is example what they're doing when they cleaning them uh, professionally if the spray pattern looks good then uh, we need to move uh, forward to check uh, the volume they are giving ok so we are building up the pressure using just water for testing I hope you guys can see the difference. Number three injector is the lowest, so we just sprayed a small amount of fluid because I don't have bigger. Um, don't have bigger tubes or glasses and so if you spraying for longer the difference will be bigger so others not so bad but number three is is dirty or damaged we don't know so now I'm pouring the cleaner with uh, fuel I decided to add uh, more of the cleaner to save my time. Anyway, I'm doing this 
DIY. I'm not sure if these cleaners will work or not. I just wanna uh, lower the cost to minimum. Also my time, that was the goal. So loads of injector cleaner. The ratio is very high. It's probably one to one or even less. So I'm disconnecting another five, just leaving one. I'll be focusing on one each. Building up, building up. Pattern looks okay. Gives consistent uh, even flow. More pulses you do, better for the injector. Okay, then we switch to number two. Same thing. More pressure build up. Number three now. Number three is the dodgy one. More pressure. I'll spend more time on number three because that was the lowest one. I will switch to number four, I will come back to number three.
on the five. More pressure. More pressure. So first round of cleaning is uh, finished with uh, bullshit uh, injector or whatever petrol system cleaner and I added a concentrated dose of it into the uh, our container and the cleaning uh, solution is finished so I filled up with water is ready to check uh, the volume how much volume the difference so here we go did we do we have any difference did the cleaner did something so we don't have any actually difference at all same as it was uh, with crazy amount of injector cleaner uh, there's no change at all okay another dose of uh, our cleaner already I used half so uh, I diluted with fuel again so another dose and this time I will use it only on uh, injector number three. Okay, the pressure is set. Injector number three. Another dose of uh, half and half fuel and injector cleaner. Oops. Need to disconnect others. Just one. There will be some water first, but later should uh, proper stuff come out. You can clearly see that this pattern is okay, but just sprays tiny uh, lines, not like the other ones, more like mist. This one just like it's not efficient enough. And what's happening now? No pressure. We have pressure, but we have no action. See guys, this is why you need to remove your injector. See the mist? Right. 
but this one is just sticking. I don't know what's happening. I think. I think uh, this injector have a mechanical damage. I think the coil or something inside, uh, like the needle nozzle or something, is is damaged or worn. I don't know. It's, it doesn't operate fully enough as the other ones. We have a pressure. I'll check again with the pressure. Yeah, we got pressure. But this injector is weak. So you see guys, that's why you need to remove your injectors to actually check if the injector is working properly. It might be dirty or have a mechanical damage like this one. So you, if you're revving up, you're doing like 5000 RPM, injectors actually are fully open and this one just dies. I'll check with the other one. Yeah, the other one is fine. This one is not. I hope you guys uh, find these videos useful uh, about injector maintenance. So, uh, first thing, what's the best uh, option? DIY or professionals uh, if you do DIY you can use similar system to mine use fuel resistant hoses some kind of compressor fuel line or any hose connection some voltage to open and close uh, the injector if you send them to professionals they're gonna do it for you that's the best option available you will pay mm, roughly about 12 to 15 uh, cans of beer on for each and that's the best uh, second injector cleaners do they work or not I don't know I haven't test all of them and I don't want to test all of them uh, that's just too much money because there's plenty of uh, threads on the forms which one is the best so people keep spending money pouring something into the tanks and they know nothing because I could I, you could see on this example on this video that one of the injectors is faulty and not even best cleaner in the world will will fix it because that's mechanical issue I think to be honest I tried to clean this injector before and nothing nothing works so if they do work you might just use them in the system like I did or just keep buying them and pouring and hoping they will they will do something I I believing I know that injector cleaners poured into your tank are a waste of time and money free uh, homemade cleaners are there any homemade cleaners on the market I mean <laughs> recipes to do at home uh, Yes, there are many. I using one and it's very good, but uh, I won't tell you now unless you donate one million from my website. Just kidding. Uh, you can use uh, paint thinner with uh, fuel mix, whatever ratio you want. Half, to half, seventy thirty. I think the best. More, more thinner than fuel. But keep remembering about fuel lines, they need to be fuel resistant. Same for pressure as well. 
just to be sure so I hope that will be useful for you guys in the future open your mind don't read labels don't follow uh, instructions don't don't get fooled by others and uh, think so see you next time